Welcome back to the dusty trails of the Old West. Today, we're saddling up for a special journey, a nostalgic ride down memory lane as we explore the classic Western television series, alias Smith & Jones, that rustled its way onto our screens from 1971 to 1973. Alias Smith & Jones, it was an American Western television series that aired from 1971 to 1973. The show was created by Glenn A. Larson and Douglas Hayes. The series followed the adventures of two outlaws, Hannibal Hayes, played by Pete Duell, and Kid Curry, played by Ben Murphy, who were trying to reform and earn a pardon for their past crimes. The show had a blend of action, humor, and drama and gained a following during its run. Despite its popularity, the death of Pete Duell had a significant impact on the show, and it eventually came to an end after its third season. Pete Duell as Hannibal Hayes, alias Joshua Smith. In the heart of upstate New York, on February 24, 1940, the world welcomed a spirited soul named Peter Elstrom Duell, destined to become a memorable figure in the realm of television. Pete Duell, as he was widely known, left an indelible mark on the small screen before his untimely departure. He rode the trails of life until December 31, 1971, leaving behind a legacy that transcends time. Pete Duell, with his rugged charm and quick wit, found his stride as Hannibal Hayes in Alias Smith & Jones. This charismatic outlaw with a penchant for schemes and a heart of gold became a symbol of the counterculture movement of the 70s. Duell's portrayal of Hayes earned him not only critical acclaim but also a legion of devoted fans who followed his every daring escape and mischievous grin. The Rise to Stardom Pete Duell's journey to stardom began on the Broadway stage, where he honed his craft before making the leap to the burgeoning world of television. In addition to his role in Alias Smith & Jones, Duell graced the screens in various other shows, including Love on a Rooftop and Gidget. His versatility and magnetic presence made him a sought-after talent, capturing the attention of audiences across the nation. The legacy lives on. Despite his passing at the age of 31, Pete Duell's legacy endures. The impact of Alias Smith & Jones and his charismatic portrayal of Hannibal Hayes echoes through the corridors of television history. As fans revisit the Old West through reruns, Duell's performance remains a timeless testament to the magic that happens when a talented actor meets an iconic role. A fond farewell. On that fateful New Year's Eve in 1971, Pete Duell's bright star dimmed prematurely. The actor, grappling with personal struggles, tragically took his own life. The world mourned the loss of a talent that promised to blossom further. In the final act of his life, Duel left us with the poignant reminder that even stars, shining so brightly, may carry burdens too heavy for the world to see. Ben Murphy as Jedediah, Kid, Curry, alias Thaddeus Jones. A sunrise over the plains, revealing a lone rider kicking up dust. Born on March 6, 1942, in Jonesboro, Arkansas, Ben Murphy emerged as a cowboy with a heart as vast as the open prairie. As of our journey through this narrative, Murphy continues to ride through life, having clocked 81 orbits around the sun. The charismatic actor made his mark as the quick-drawing Jedediah Kid Curry in the beloved Western series, alias Smith & Jones. A maverick in Hollywood. Ben Murphy's journey to Hollywood was as adventurous as the roles he would later play. Before donning the cowboy hat, he served in the U.S. Marine Corps and studied political science. Fate, however, had other plans, guiding him toward acting. Murphy's rugged good looks and natural talent quickly earned him a spot in the limelight. Saddle up for success. Alias Smith & Jones, catapulted Ben Murphy into the living rooms of millions. Kid Curry, with his lightning-fast reflexes and sharpshooting skills, became an icon of the Wild West. Murphy's affable portrayal not only endeared him to audiences but also solidified his status as a Western heartthrob. Post, alias Smith & Jones, he continued to ride the Hollywood range, appearing in shows like, The Winds of War, and, Bergerac. A lifetime of achievements. As the sun sets on Ben Murphy's storied career, it casts a warm glow over a lifetime filled with accomplishments. His journey from the hills of Arkansas to the bustling streets of Hollywood stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of the American West. As fans revisit the adventures of Kid Curry, they are reminded that Murphy's legacy is written not just in the sands of time but etched in the hearts of those who've traveled alongside him. Roger Davis as Hannibal Hayes, alias Joshua Smith. A twilight sky, marking the transition of roles. 
On April 5, 1939, Roger Davis entered this world, destined to become a multifaceted actor and a key player in the legacy of, alias Smith and Jones. At the time of this narrative, Davis, having weathered the years with grace, stands as a bridge between the heyday of classic television and the modern era. In a unique turn of fate, he stepped into the shoes of Hannibal Hayes, alias Joshua Smith, after the untimely passing of Pete Duell. The man of many faces. Roger Davis, with his chiseled features and thespian prowess, embarked on a versatile career in the entertainment industry. Before riding alongside Kid Curry, Davis graced screens in various roles, from soap operas like Dark Shadows, to episodic appearances in popular shows. Little did he know that the dusty trails of the Old West awaited him, and the role of Hannibal Hayes would become a significant chapter in his career. Continuing the journey. As Davis took on the mantle of Hayes, he faced the challenge of stepping into the boots of a beloved character. The transition was seamless, and he brought his own nuances to the role, ensuring that the spirit of, alias Smith and Jones, endured despite the loss of a key cast member. Post-Western escapades. Davis continued to contribute to the world of television, adding depth to characters in series like, The Dark Secret of Harvest Home. A chapter unwritten. Unlike the fictional tales of the Old West, Roger Davis's story continues to unfold. As we reflect on his contributions to the realm of entertainment, we see a man who seamlessly navigated the shifting landscapes of the industry. While the final chapter of his story is yet to be written, Davis remains an integral part of the legacy that began with, alias Smith and Jones. The Sunset on the Horizon. In the vast tapestry of Hollywood history, the stories of Pete Duell, Ben Murphy, and Roger Davis are threads woven into the fabric of a bygone era. The legacy of, alias Smith and Jones, endures, not just as a Western series but as a time capsule capturing the spirit of an era. As we close the book on this narrative, we bid farewell to the Old West, leaving behind echoes of laughter, camaraderie, and the timeless allure of the open frontier. Earl Holliman as Wheat Carlson. Born on September 11, 1928, in Delhi, Louisiana, Earl Holliman stepped onto the Hollywood stage with the swagger of a seasoned cowboy. At the time of this tale, Holliman, having ridden through 95 summers, carries with him a wealth of experiences from a career that spanned over six decades. His most memorable stint was as the grizzled Wheat Carlson in the classic Western series, alias Smith and Jones. A journey across the plains of Hollywood. Earl Holliman's journey began under the studio lights of the 1950s, where he found early success with roles in films like The Rainmaker and Gunfight at the OK Corral. However, it was on the small screen that Holliman truly left his mark. His rugged charm and ability to portray characters with depth made him a sought-after actor in an era dominated by westerns. The Rise of Wheat Carlson. In Alias Smith and Jones, Holliman brought Wheat Carlson to life with a blend of toughness and wit. As the gruff yet endearing member of the outlaw gang, Holliman's portrayal resonated with audiences. Wheat's antics and loyalty to Hayes and Curry added a layer of camaraderie to the series. Holliman's success on the show solidified his place in the Western genre. A sunset on the horizon. As Earl Holliman continues to ride into the sunset of life, his legacy endures. His contributions to the world of entertainment have etched his name among the greats of the Western genre. The tales of Wheat Carlson, along with the many characters he brought to life, linger like echoes across the vast landscapes of Hollywood. Dennis Fimple as Kyle Murtry. Born on November 11, 1940, in Taft, California, Dennis Fimple emerged as a character actor whose talents shone like a beacon in the vast expanse of Hollywood. At the time of our story, Fimple's journey spanned 63 years. Among his many roles, he found a place in the hearts of Western enthusiasts as the lovable Kyle Murtry in, alias Smith and Jones. The journeyman actor, Dennis Fimple's career, like the trails of the Old West, meandered through various genres. He made appearances in popular television shows like, Gunsmoke, and, The Twilight Zone, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Fimple's distinct look and affable demeanor made him a memorable presence in every role he undertook. The Gentle Giant of, alias Smith and Jones. In the dusty ensemble of Outlaws and Lawmen, Dennis Fimple's Kyle Murtry stood out as the Gentle Giant. His portrayal brought a touch of warmth to the often gritty world of the show. Murtry's camaraderie with the main characters added a layer of authenticity to the series, 
making Fimple an indispensable part of the alias Smith & Jones family. Stars twinkling in the night sky. As the years passed, Dennis Fimple continued to sprinkle his magic across various productions. His legacy, not confined to a single genre, speaks to the enduring nature of his talent. As we bid farewell to the gentle giant of the Old West, we remember Dennis Fimple's ability to bring characters to life with a sincerity that left a lasting impression. Susan St. James as Miss Porter. Born on August 14, 1946, in Los Angeles, California, Susan St. James burst onto the scene with a radiant energy that would define her diverse career. As of this narrative, she stands at the threshold of 77, having embraced roles across genres. One of her most notable contributions to the Western landscape was as the vivacious Miss Porter in, alias Smith & Jones. The Starlet's Ascent. Susan St. James's journey began with a passion for acting, leading her to grace both the small and big screens. Her breakthrough came with the television series, The Name of the Game, where her performance garnered attention. St. James's ability to infuse characters with charisma and charm set her on a path to becoming a sought-after actress. Miss Porter's Charm. In the wild escapades of, alias Smith and Jones, Susan St. James brought Miss Porter to life with grace and humor. As the character who managed the boys' affairs, she added a touch of class and levity to the series. St. James's chemistry with the cast and her ability to balance humor with heart made Miss Porter a memorable character in the annals of Western television. A sunset painted in hues of Hollywood. Susan St. James, with her enduring smile and talent, continues to inspire. Her career, a tapestry of roles that span genres, reflects the dynamic nature of her craft. As we tip our hats to Miss Porter and the many characters she embodied, we celebrate Susan St. James's contribution to the rich legacy of American television. The Fading Echoes of the Old West. In The Fading Echoes of the Old West, the tales of Earl Holliman's Wheat Carlson, Dennis Fimple's Kyle Murtry, and Susan St. James's Miss Porter linger like whispers in the winds of Hollywood. As we step away from the campfire of their stories, we carry with us the warmth of their performances, the laughter they shared, and the indelible mark they left on the western frontier of our hearts. As we gather around the virtual campfire, the stories of Earl Holliman, Dennis Fimple, and Susan St. James resonate like echoes in the vast expanse of the Old West. Their contributions to the legendary saga of, alias Smith and Jones, have left an enduring imprint on the heart of Hollywood history. Dear viewers, as the credits roll on this narrative journey, we invite you to become part of the conversation. Share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments from, alias Smith and Jones, in the comments below. Did Wheat Carlson's gruff charm leave you wanting more? Did Kyle Murtry's gentle giant touch your heart? Perhaps Miss Porter's vivacity brightened your day?